Hey guys, this is how to create a blog with Notion. And I don't mean just a blog in terms of you have your internal Notion page with your blog post. I actually mean a website. So uh, building public that simple that ink is an example of something close to what we'll be doing today, although this is not a blog or chdavid.com is an, another example. This is uh, has a Notion page behind and every time every letter that is changed on the notion page is reflected on this very website as you can see it is a website or in here as well um i'll be showing you how to do that for a blog so it will be public will, you'll be able to blog straight from notion and the most beautiful part is you won't have to do anything else other than just finish typing your blog i do suggest writing it first in a private Notion page and then moving it into your collection. But rest assured, I'll be walking you through how to build it, what it entails, how to make changes, um, and some top features that are highly relevant for this specific use case, which is building a blog. I won't bore you with all the features, only with the relevant ones and the the ones where you gain uh, an edge over, say, using some something else, something like Webflow or WordPress or Squarespace or what have you. This is built with Notion and you'll be editing from Notion. So um, this is what we do, simple.inc, we're a Notion website builder. And you'll see in a second, that it takes only about 10, 30 seconds, but let me just jump into it, show you, let's literally start the guide. Uh, we'll be starting at step zero, which is optional. You would have to have your Notion page ready. If you have it already, skip to step one. In step zero, I'll be showing you how you don't have to start from ground zero. You don't have to literally make a new blank Notion page, although that will be fine as well if you know what you're doing. If you'd rather save the time, just go to this page, uh, create a blog notion. You'll be having it in uh, in bio, so I don't need to spell it out for you. And if you just scroll down to a section called templates, or you can just click here on the sidebar, uh, notion blog templates, you can start with a free template from us. Um, you just need to duplicate it. So I'll show you here in a second. So I'm just opening, I'm just picking this notion blogging template from Red Gregory. They have a beautiful set of resources. They're an ocean ambassador and I really like what they do, but um, that's outside the scope of this video. So I'll be opening the notion page and what you want to do is for step zero is you want to duplicate it. So in here, see this button duplicate, you will need to select your workspace. I'll be doing it here to symbol ink guys, let notion do its thing. And what we're doing now is, Notion is making a carbon copy, a one-to-one -one copy of this page right here. Uh, why do all this? It is worth doing it because you have control over the Notion page. It will be yours and you can do whatever you want on it because now it is yours. A few seconds ago, the template isn't yours, although you could publish that, um, but it's obviously needed, required that you have control. So let me just call this CH Daniels blog. And um, I don't know, let's see, let's let's not make it full width. Let's see if it looks fine like this. Yeah, maybe the text is a bit too big, but um, I think it looks fine. Um, that's it, step zero is done. Now for step one, so if your page is already made, start from here. For step one, you need to get your Notion URL. Now, careful, this isn't this specific URL. It has to be the Notion URL from a public page. How to do that is quite simple. Click share, the button I've just clicked right here, and you see that share to web is by default turned off. Turn it on and you need this page, copy. You don't need a Notion paid plan. You can be on a free plan forever and still have this work perfectly. So no need to worry about that. Just copy this link, nothing else. Not this, not this this link. Um, with that being said, we'll be moving on onward to step two, which is anywhere you see either here or here, if you click try for free, anywhere you see a form, a place where you can paste the link on our website on simple.inc, I have to mention, uh, it could be at the top of the page or at the bottom, they all do the same thing. Just paste it there, right click, paste, uh, the Notion link you've gotten from, again, here, 
paste it there and do click try creating a website or whatever else the button might say. You will see that at step one, you have already the field uh, filled in. Field, filled in, that's a tongue twister. And uh, at number two, where will your website be? Um, this is where you will select a .simple.inc subdomain. If you have a custom domain, you can add it later, but everybody starts on a free plan just for the sake of making it simple and what have you. I'll be choosing, um, actually I won't be choosing anything because I wanna show you as well in parallel that if you already have an account, such as I do, um, you have all your websites here. I mean, I have mine. The same process applies if you already have an account. So just for the sake of being having a, a very thorough guide, this is it. So I'll click add a new website, paste the link I've pasted um, initially in here. So it's the same process after you click that button. And now we were here. So let's see, Daniel's blog, um, one, two, three. I want to leave you guys with a beautiful that symbol thing subdomain. So I won't be taking any subdomain and that's it. You see this blue button right here. You click it, you wait a tiny bit and that was it. As that happened, our website was being built in the background. Um, I'll be showing you, I'll be making a comparison now hint spoiler there's no difference but then i'll come back and have a look at the at what else you can do here so let's see this is the notion page and this is the notion website as you can see it looks the same it might need a tiny bit of time to get all the images and um i don't know yeah it matters where these images are coming from if you put them in notion they will surely appear here if they're coming out of outside of Notion, we won't be able to take them. But I suppose that is reasonable since you'd be having it in Notion. So uh, by having it outside of Notion, I mean putting in a, an image from a link. You would have to paste it there, which I think most people do anyway. So probably this doesn't happen here because of that. But as you can see, we've taken some other pictures. So we're on Daniel's blog 123.simple.inc. The blog is live now. All that we have to do is make this a proper, oh, we have dark mode as well, I have to mention. All we have to do is, not finishing the guide here, but this is where the guide kind of finishes. Uh, all we're doing now is adding power-ups, seeing uh, seeing what else we can do with it. So, as you see, uh, it might take a bit, depending on how many sub-pages you have, but if not, you might have them done instantly. All the sub-pages of the Notion page are, and they're loading faster, might I say, uh, are already added as a sub page on your website. Um, you will have granular control over what's here. So category one, blah, blah, blah. But you will soon you, you will soon be able to edit all these to just say category one or whatever you wanted to say. Um, what else should I show you first? Oh, correct. I'll show you that if I change my mind about something. So let's say instead of this random text, uh, this is uh, this is why I'm moving all my websites to simple that ink. Let's make it a bit more. That's it. So I move. That's it. I'm moving all my websites to simple that ink. Uh, I'm changing this as a title of a blog post. And then if you come to this page, all you have to do is wait until your page reloads. Um, it it already applied changes. Sometimes it might have to do with cache. So just refresh it at least three times, but literally under the hood, it is changed instantly. So if you would make, if you have two devices, make a change on one device where you've built the website and on the second device, uh, could it be a laptop? It could be a, a phone or whatever. The changes are instant. The reason why you have to refresh a couple of times on your computer is because you might have to cache uh, cache this, the first version. But this is the beautiful part. Every time you make a change to a blog post or you add a new blog post, it's automatically added. So ultimately, as much as we love you, we wanted to make it so you don't have to see our dashboard, which I believe is beautiful, but we're not doing art here. We're just helping you build a blog. We made it so that you don't have to see us unless you want to. If you build it once and then you only access your page, from your notion, which is to say from this sidebar and from your other notes, perfectly fine with us. We're taking care of the rest. Um, some changes, some options have to be here. And let's see what kind of changes. I've mentioned the custom domain. 
Um, if you want to add a custom domain, here's how to do it for your Notion blog. Click Site Customization on the left-hand side and click Domain. Mm -hmm. You'll get to this page. And if you have a custom domain, which you need to have bought from a registrar, we don't deal with selling domains, but we have a guide for how to do it. We are charging for it. This is on our paid plans. Now, if you're not looking to pay us, if you're not looking to spend at the moment, maybe at a little point or maybe never, maybe you don't want to pay for simple, I think at any point, that's fine with us. You can stick to a free .simple .ink subdomain, perfectly fine. If you want a custom domain, you will need to get on a paid plan so that you can do something like what my co-founder and brother David has done here. Uh, his website is on chdavid.com. The process is straightforward. It takes a couple of seconds or a minute or two. But um, once you upgrade to a paid plan for for this specific website, you will be able to um, add your custom domain. Other than that, let's see, site settings, you can change the title, the site description, favicon, the favicon is um, this right here. So this specific icon, you can change that. Uh, you can you can change, as I said, granular control over each page. You can change it for them as well, although they will automatically take it from, from the title of the page. So what's here will be taken from here. If in the future you will want to change the to go away from the Notion UI, from the Notion layout. We are soon adding it. By the time this video is out, we should have it out. Um, you, we will soon have themes. So you can change the aspect. You can uh, make it so that it doesn't look like Notion anymore, but rather it looks it, with, a, with a preferred layout. You will see before you install it, but uh, make sure you have a look at our website. Somewhere here in the Napa, we will have themes which are separate from templates. Templates are what we've used just now, which was, um, where was it? Here, a template, a Notion page that we duplicated. But um, that's about it with themes. Um, I believe this is pretty much, oh, one last thing. When we've made the, on this page, okay, besides inviting you to a custom domain, which I've explained, go to simple editing settings, you can see integrations and power-ups. So depending on what you want to add to your blog, we have this beautiful page right here with all the stuff and every each and every one of them has a guide um we're adding videos so we can show with visual examples how to do it look this is me here um we're showing with visual examples how to install these things these are power-ups you can add to your notion built website whether it's a blog or something else you can add them so analytics is an example but of course you want, might want to add forms you might want to add payments live chat uh, membership systems, we just call this power up so that these are ancillary things you could add. Uh, check our premier partner, Emojix. Um, anything, th this is the page where you window shopping, quote unquote, for what else you can add as, a, as an add on to your website. But I'll stop here for the moment. This is how to build a blog with Notion, public blog, instantly updated. Uh, we are hosting it so you don't have to worry about. We don't have any limits on pages or on, I don't know, check out our pricing page, but it's, we pretty much want to make it as accessible as possible so you don't have to worry about stuff. We are saying we're calling this company simple.inc and the simple part means we're optimizing for zero headache, for as, as small of a headache as we can give you as possible. So as you've seen, I think we're putting our money where our mouth is with this process. Uh, we'll see how we're going to simplify this even further, but this is how to build your blog with Notion. Free, fast, with a generous free plan, optimized for re SEO ready. Op you, nothing stops you from getting top positions in Google in the search engine results page. And um, we'll be looking forward to seeing what else you would want or need out of this. Leave a comment below because I am monitoring the comment section and I jump every now and then to have a chat, answer a question, something like that. Or if I can help you, uh, make sure you use the live chat bubble right here. So in the lower right corner, you always see a live chat button. Uh, that's it for today. Let me know suggestions, questions, and uh, requests for some other stuff in the future. I'll leave you to it. Um, Simple.ink. Build your website today. Call 999 I'm joking. Nothing like that. Give us a try.